There we go. Now we have the print on the platform ready to do the next process of applying the glass. This container's got our glass in it. This is our glue right there. You can get that off of Amazon. So we need that. We got all different size eyes in here. We have to go down and pick the size of eye we're going to need for the project. This eye here it fits on quite nicely. So we're going to do that one. Normally you'd measure your eye of where you're going to be putting it. So what you would use is a unit like this. This would actually measure your eye to the right size that you would like. Of course you're going to measure the model that you're putting it in or the teddy bear or wherever you're going to put it. I'll tell you that's a 19 millimeter eye. So this is a great tool. They're not that expensive. They're like probably 30 bucks online. Good tool to have. So now we have the, the eye. Now, like I said, we can choose which one we want to do. Of course. These ones that are right in front of us right now that I'm looking at are actually for a bass. So we will take the glue. I have this thing in here so that it doesn't dry up on me. This stuff gets really hard. So we want to take that off. I put tape on it. And now I can't get it off. It's not a bad thing. So we gotta take that. And pull that out. That's not a great looking tip, but it'll do the job. So then we apply our glue right there, just in the center, not a lot, but enough. And all we have to do is take the eye and set it right on top, like that. Center it where we want it. My finger's in the way. I'll bring that up to show you. There it is right there. Right there with the glass on it. Now if the glue comes out a little bit, no big deal. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that dry for a few minutes. Now it's dried for a few minutes. We're going to take a sharp knife. It doesn't have to be an exacto knife. You could probably do it with a pair of scissors if you don't have so many eyes on it that you don't want to save. And then you go around the eye. And you could spin it. It's probably the easiest way. Spin it around. Keep spinning. Follow around the eye. Oops, missed. Move the camera a bit. There we go. Spin it around. Spin it around, spin it around, spin it around, and then the eye will actually come out like that. So now we got our eye. We can go around and clean it up. A little bit of paper there, you just have to take a little bit off like that. Clean it up. But there's your eye. Very simple. And you could take this, put it in your file, and when you need them, 
or you can make a bunch at a time or whatever. I just usually cut them out when I need them. Now you can buy these on Amazon or probably some other craft stores. It's all different sizes, what you need. I got all different bags, different sizes. And some bigger ones for a bigger eyes. For Like I've got a T-Rex I'm working on or a, or a Raptor I'm working on. It needs a big set of eyes. So that's more of the size that I would need. And actually this here is called Diamond Glaze. It's water-based. And uh, yeah, that's what we use to glue it. It gives a real clear. Doesn't fog up. I've used other glues. And it looks like uh, the eye has a cataract, so that's not good. So this is what you want. And the, actually the glass itself is very inexpensive. So you can order it. And I used to order them online. Uh, and they used to cost me a lot of money and then take three weeks to arrive. And uh, that kind of slowed down my project, so now I build them to the project that I'm working on a lot easier for me now if you're really creative and you want to make your own eyes well then you can actually I'm going to use a pen here because I have a pen handy so you could draw around the glass like that move your glass out now I get these uh, markers, paint markers online. Let me shake that up. I don't know how fast this will dry, but this will give you an idea where you can actually take it, make your own center or whatever, or you can make lines where the eye goes out like that. Something like that. Don't know if that's quite dry, probably not, because it's a paint marker. So we'll wait a second, let it dry. So now it's dry, so we can just take that. Even if we put it on wet, you can wipe it off the glass. It won't stick to the glass. And then you can put your eye on it. But you can get fancy. Do something like that. I'll pick this up to show it to the camera. Yeah, whoop, there we go, it just shook off. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can take it. There we go. That gives you a better idea. So you can make your own.